there's a chemical process called pyrolysis that takes place, and that's actually part of the combustion process. But what that pyrolysis does is it chemically alters that combustible material and lowers the temperature of combustion. So you may have uh, combustible in contact with that chimney, and it may have been that way for 20, 30 years. And homeowners will often say, oh, it's been like that for 20 or 30 years. Don't worry about it. But the fact is, the longer it's been in that bad situation, the closer you are to having a problem. Because what happens is, the temperature of combustible, of that combustible of ignition comes down and gets lower and lower and lower. And as that temperature of combustion gets lower, that combustible can actually ignite without any direct flame contact. You have a situation, say a chimney fire or an overfire situation with that appliance, that masonry gets very hot. And because of the nature of masonry, it absorbs heat. And long after that chimney fire, for example, is gone, that brickwork or stonework, whatever the case may be, that masonry is still conducting heat out of those surrounding combustibles. And it's not uncommon in an older home particularly, but even in a no newer home, if the system's been used very extensively, to have ignition without ever having direct flame contact when you have some kind of high heat event. 